And for today's Jolt of Faith, the last one on suffering, but what's another insight I've picked up about suffering in my life and how we join it together with our idea of a loving God? And the idea is, is that suffering can be used to help other people. And I've talked to you about this before, that when I'm suffering, when I'm going through something that's really difficult, do I wallow in my misery and get angry at God or do I offer it up? You know, we've all heard that saying before, and it's one of those pious things from the 50s, but there is truth to that. Am I willing to offer it up to God to use for a family member who's struggling, to use for a neighbor, a friend, or to use for someone I've never met before, but simply to offer it to God for someone who might be in need of help? I shared with you before that I learned this a very challenging way when I was in the hospital after my transplant and going through a lot of pain and nothing was working. And that, that moment I chose to offer it up to God, it was amazing the grace that flooded my life to make the pain and the suffering more bearable. And I saw the results of that weeks and days later in the lives of people in the parish who had been changed because I'd offered that suffering for them. And as a priest, I've heard countless stories of people who have been in the hospital and offered up for a family member and things have changed, lives have turned around, situations have gotten better. So my friends, again, it's a reminder that in the midst of suffering, I can flip it. I can choose to take that difficult situation and experience and offer it to God for someone else, which gives them the grace they may need, but also gives me the grace to make this suffering have meaning, have purpose. Even though it's something that I want to avoid and get out of, if I'm doing it for someone else, it makes it easier to bear. Again, just another insight that the next time we're grappling with struggling of suffering and my faith and my relationship with God, Maybe God's offering us an opportunity to offer that suffering for someone else so that I can make a difference in the life of someone else and find meaning in the cross I might be carrying in my own life right now as well. Not a sermon, not a homily, but just that little jolt of faith we may need to get through the sufferings in our lives.